But we want to turn to the huge voter turnout so far today right here in Connecticut. There are several hundred polling places in our state and it have, it's a polarizing election with the added stress of the pandemic and the protocols that also have to be followed. Officials are saying that you should expect some longer lines, maybe some really long lines at polling places throughout 8 o'clock tonight. Channel 3 Eyewitness News reporter Mark Robbins continues our team coverage live from a polling location in North Haven. How is it there, Mark? Well, good afternoon, Kev. Well, let me let me show you. I came to to we came to Green Acres Elementary School because Green Acres is the place to be. But right now we're not seeing a whole heck of a lot. It, there's been a steady stream of folks coming in. Uh, we've been here for a couple of hours. At one time, the line was maybe 10, 15 minutes long, the wait. So there was about 15, 20 people there. But the lines were very long in Milford this morning. People wrapped around school buildings waiting to cast their votes waiting for upwards of two hours this morning. Now at one school in Wallingford, voters found a pretty smooth transition from entrance to voting to exit. Pandemic protocol following followed precisely all over the place, which gave voters a real sense of safety. It was uh, very easy, actually. Yeah, it seemed to be well organized, coordinated. We were, we were pleasantly surprised, actually. I'm out supporting. I am supporting Trump. And uh, it was perfect. Uh, there's plexiglass up. It was safe. It was orderly. And it was perfect. I've seen the lines in New York. I've seen the lines everywhere. Had there been a line, I would have stayed. I would have waited however long it took. All right. And uh, if you do get in line before 8 o'clock, remember, the polls are open until 8. But if you're in line, it's after 8 and you're already in. You will be allowed to vote. The polls will stay open. Reporting live in North Haven, Mark Robbins, Channel 3, Eyewitness News.